Well, there we go. We got the uh, major dent out. Watch out. Sit down, Bearcat. Sit. Sit. This was the golf ball size dent that was on the back end. And it was the hardest, I thought. It was not going to be easy to pull out. But it came out really, really nice. And now I just have a bit of TIG welding up here to do. Maybe I'll put another rod on it and do another slide hammer job on it just to pull out this edge here. But we'll fill this little hole here and then we can work it into the whole tank. The dents here are gone completely and the heavy scratches that were evident. You can see them on the front here still. Looks like the guy took a rasp to it or something. But those are gone. Only got around to doing this dent here on the side and we still have this little bit of a depression here to pull so we'll do that next time but this dent here is a flat dent that'll come out very easily this dent might even come out because it's less shallower than the golf ball size one the golf ball one was almost as deep as that but I'm still not going to try to pull out these two matching dent sections here I'm just going to fill it if I do the Victor paint this is going to be a little bit more of a ordeal. Holding the tank is the difficulty, but I'm going to try it with a rod, slide hammer rod in there. This morning I was just using this, and you can see the beating it's taken. But that took out those dents that I showed you there, so I'm going to have to get a bit more weight on it, and it's quite an you know energetic kind of exercise. But we're really close to getting the Victor tank sections. This section, this section cleaned up. We'll have to pull this dent here. We'll have to pull this flat dent here. Otherwise we can polish this all up and we can do a filling job on the front. We'll pull this one and those are the, the major ones that we have to pull. Because it, at worst case we can fill this gap here and we can fill these and make it Victor yellow. And it is basically, from all looks from the outside, a complete tank without any dents. But just between you and me, we'll know that it has these two massive fish dents on the front. I might actually paint over them because they're quite well matched anyways. But there you go. Working on the Victor tank. It's not hopeless. And that back end, I'll tell you, never thought that hole was going to, or that dent was going to come out.